Mealy bugs are nasty. Let me show you how to get rid of them. You know, on a day like today when it's raining, I come down here in my big greenhouse and check things out. And I just want to point out two of my favorite trees. These are bay trees, and I have grown these from little cuttings. I typically use them on either side of a door up at the house. And several months ago, the guys moved them off the porch because these really can't take cold temperatures. However, they're sort of stressed out, and I got up here and I started looking around and realized I have an infestation of mealybug and scale, which is a big problem. So before I spray a treat, I just want to point out a few things about this tree. First of all, it's a bay tree, which is a wonderful herb to cook with. These leaves are very flavorful. But if you look at this leaf here, for instance, see this dirty film that I'm pushing off the leaf? Now you can get down to the glossy part of the leaf. This is actually caused from mealybugs. What they do is they excrete this honeydew and a fungus grows on it. Well, it won't hurt you, but eventually uh, it can really bring the plant down. And when they get stressed out, they can be more susceptible to these things. But if you'll look here closely, you'll see what I'm talking about with these little mealybugs. Look at them. They are, they look like something on Star Trek. What you want to do is you want to spray some sort of treatment on them to kill them. And I like to suffocate them with a horticulture oil sometimes called a dormant oil. And so these trees are certainly dormant because it's still cool and we haven't moved them outside yet and won't for about another month. And then also, if you look closely here, you can even see some scale growing on the underside of these leaves. So if you have plants that have this sort of sooty residue on the leaves, then you likely have mealybugs in here. Okay, so what I do is take my trusty sprayer and I start up in the tree uh, and I spray all on the undersides of the leaves. What you're doing is you're actually suffocating these insects by drenching uh, them with this oil. Notice how I'm getting all up under there on the stems, totally saturating this tree. And then what I'll do is I'll come back in about another week and I'll look at it and see how things are coming along. And I should see that the mealybug is beginning to leave. The scale's a little more troublesome, and I'll have to apply uh, some more dormant oil probably to get rid of the scale, but this first treatment should take care of a lot of the mealybug. Now, if you're finding these tips helpful for caring for your plants, make sure you tell a friend about them and subscribe to eHow Home. Now, don't you worry, you little tree. I'm gonna take good care of you.